Welcome to Unit 2. This is where we will be discussing volunteer assessment. Uh, this includes discovering a volunteer's needs, uh, finding out what their goals are, uh, what their abilities are, um, and also discussing um, expectations and uh, motivation for volunteering. Um, this is specifically for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Uh, some things to consider when uh, assessing volunteers, especially those with disabilities, uh, our priority should always be what is best for the volunteer. We want to understand why they want to volunteer. Uh, for example, where did they hear about it? Uh, what do they hope to get from it? Um, that kind of thing. Um, do they know what volunteering is? Um, even something basic as that. Uh, we want to find out what kind of work they want to do. Uh, this could be something that they're familiar with. Maybe um, they've done work before at a thrift store or you know, crushing boxes, hanging clothes, something like that. Or maybe they've worked with food service, so they're considering helping in a soup kitchen or something. Um, and so we want to just find out uh, what kind of ideas they have or type of work they want to do. Um, and also, kind of a related but separate question, we want to find out what kinds of places they want to go. Uh, maybe a volunteer doesn't have anything in mind for a specific task, but maybe they really like um, firefighters or fire trucks, and so they know that they want to go to a fire station to volunteer. Um, and then we would just look for work at a place like that. Um, and so that the next one would be what they like about this work and these places, and that's part of that, is we want to find out what it is specifically they like about the task or the place that they suggest because this will help us um, arrange a suitable location for them to ensure that they're getting um, what they need and what they thought they would get when they joined our program. Um, and as I said, we wanted to assess and find out what their abilities are. Um, maybe someone you know, wants to be an astronaut, and so we'd have to figure out you know, something that's in that, in that same vein or field, um, something related maybe to science or space or something like that, um, but we want to, you know, make it sure it's something that is realistically doable. Uh, maybe a museum or something like that, that they could help out. And what goes along with this is what kind of support will they need? Um, depending on their abilities, they may need um, just someone to be there and, you know, to ask questions. Or maybe they need hand-over-hand -hand support. It could be anything in the middle there. Maybe they just need verbal prompts or something like that, or written directions um, for the job they're doing. Um, so we want to know all of that. So some questions we would like to ask the volunteers who join our program is, um, you know, for example, um, if we want to find out why they want to volunteer. Um, if their main priority is socializing or community involvement, and um, they, maybe they don't really care uh, what kind of job they'd be doing as long as they get to be out with people and um, you know being able to, to talk and uh, interact because that's something a lot of our participants don't get to do uh, on a daily basis or as much as they'd like. Um, maybe uh, like I said a volunteer's goal could be like to become a firefighter um, so they could get a job at a fire station to learn more about the job. Maybe they could do some tasks there that would uh, help them understand what's involved and whether or not it would be realistic to pursue that. Um, some volunteers, or actually a lot of volunteers, just want to explore their interests and discover new things. Um, so maybe they, again, they don't get out as much as they'd like, they haven't been able to experience uh, many different things, and so they want to try new jobs and go to new places uh, with new people and uh, just see where that takes them. Um, and again, another reason why we ask, why do you want to volunteer, is maybe they don't even know what volunteering is. They might have heard about it from another uh, participant or something like that. Um, and so we want to understand what their motivation is and make sure that they are um, in the right program for them. So again, that is why we ask why. Uh, so when we ask them, what kind of work do you want to do? Um, we should ask things like, what do you like about this kind of work? Um, do you know what tasks are involved? Have you done this kind of work before? Um, is there anything you don't like about this kind of work? And these are important because it will help us get to the root of what it is they want to do, and uh, thereby we can 
provide better services that are more tailored to them. Um, and or we could ask what kind of place would you like to go? Um, and then we can ask the similar follow-up questions to that. What do you like about this place? Have you been to a place like this before? Is there anything you don't like about this place? Um, and that will, again, will help us get to the, uh, the root of what it is they'd like to do to make sure that we are providing the services um, that they want. Um, and finally, some more questions to ask, not necessarily to the volunteer, but just maybe, um, you know, for your own purposes is does the desired job match the volunteer's abilities? Um, in other words, can they realistically do it? Um, again, like the example of, um, you know, wanting to be an astronaut or a firefighter, you know, find something similar or in that vein and kind of work up to it, keep expectations, you know, realistic. Um, and again, will they need support? What kind of support will they need? Um, do they have physical disabilities? Will they need a ramp um, for a wheelchair? Uh, will they need special transportation? Um, things like that. Um, can the support be provided within our program boundaries? Um, so that being then in our program, which is generally from eight to three on weekdays, we want to make sure that we have staff that are available. We have vans if needed that are available to transport. Um, and we also want to make sure it fits in the daily schedule they already have. Um, and again, kind of related, are there similar alternatives to explore if the first choice is unavailable? Um, so some of those things that we gleaned from asking them what they like about jobs and places um, will help us to, um, again, know more what the route is that they actually like so that we could suggest reasonable um, substitutions if for some reason they can't get a job doing exactly what they want. Um, and again, this is just an introduction. Um, these are some basic questions to ask um, both of volunteers and yourself um, to ensure that we are providing the uh, correct services and making sure that we have a good idea of uh, who our volunteer is and uh, what it is they're capable of and what their wants are. Um, and that way, like I said, we can provide um, you know, accurate and quality services.